my name is Deanna, and I'm here today um, to be a familiar face to my community um, and demonstrate uh, a movement of Tai Chi Cha. Um, I want to tell you just for a moment how I came to the practice and hope that you will join me in this practice in our community um, and wherever you're watching this video. Um, join your local teachers uh, because I think it is a very valuable tool. And um, I first came to this practice um, because someone made me do it as part of my Shiatsu cur curriculum and it was a requirement. Um, I enjoyed it so much that I repeated it when it wasn't required of me. I continued my personal practice. Um, even though I began to rotate it with other practices that were helpful to me. And uh, what happened for me is that I was drawn back to it because it seems to be uh, the most efficient tool for me, the most efficient and joyful and uh, flowing, physical, mental, spiritual, all rolled together for me into a practice that helps me through the resistances in my life. And resistances, as we know, create things like disease in our body and uh, thoughts that are not very helpful to us and perhaps um, a lack of connection to where we should be going in life, um, however you like to look at it for yourself. But I believe that this practice is one of the most helpful in helping you through those resistances. It helps remind us where they come from and it helps remind us how to let them go. So let me demonstrate a movement called working the pulley. Um, it's one, don't be scared, it's one of the more complicated, perhaps the hardest move in the, in the whole time. So if you think, I can do that, you can do the whole practice, no problem. And in Tai Chi Cha, and to keep things in balance, we always do, thing on this, do our movements on the second side. So now let's do this on our right side by gently sinking, stepping out with our right foot, putting our hands into the position, the starting position for this movement, and beginning to move. One of the most important things to remember about Tai Chi Cha is that it is a meditative practice. And in meditative practices, you may notice that I felt myself hesitate in the movement. Perhaps I'm a little nervous because of the video. But what that means is that it always gives us the chance to begin again. Okay. So I would invite you to begin if it's for the first time, or begin again if you've let your practice lapse, as I have at, at various times in my life, and to enjoy Tai Chi Cha, joy through movement.